Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Morning, Miss You. Ms. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. That's a nice view on the bay there.
Here we are, Ms. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Hello, Dr. Yu. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Morgan! Finally! Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. She's hiding behind the chair. Any synaptic register at all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. 
Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Good, good. Looks, Looks like you've got, like the, you've hang got the hang of it. Keep going, keep going. That's heavy stuff. Good. Next. Almost done. You know what? I'd probably do the same thing. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Is my coffee? It's empty. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe.
a simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further.
was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. Grab the neuromod you see in the display cave. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look.
Robert? Alice, thank God. No one else is... Where hiding. are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. Out. There's... What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. You'll be ready for a medical emergency. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. for your first real view of the world? I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. 
All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Getting around is going to be a problem. The main lift is broken. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. I'll let you know if I find a workaround. Good morning, Talos. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. to your office is 0451.
Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a Neuromod, it resets your memory, back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. <laughs> 